wait, 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 wait. I'm handing, try handing. Bill Reese starting his last triple print. On the top jockey. And asking, uh, Robin's got to turn around there. Looks like Mulligan turning round. Expect Mulligan and uh, Northern Starlight to make the run for Tony McCoy. Oh. Red White has kicked him away, hasn't he? Nick five lengths already over Bertoni and all the aces, and they haven't even got to the first of the 17 fences they have to jump, and it's Lickety Spit, Dr. Lunch, and Northern Starlight coming into it. Uh, over. And adding the boy a little bit awkward, but safe enough. Come down towards the second then. And on the right with the white sleeves, it's Northern Starlight. With the horse with the big white face, Dr. Lunt, further out, is Queen of Spades. And these are front runners, and they are showing the way. The pace is strong, and uh, Simply Dashing running into four with, up on the outside, Mr. Strong Gale. The very pale colours, Mulligan, can go from the front. That's uh, back in, what, what is it, like sixth place as they come to take the third. And uh, what a little bit of a chance to make uh, a run now, a little bit of a chance to find a breath, they've skipped over the first three, a bit of a run before they come to the fourth. At the back, uh, all the aces, just a little bit slow at the third, but Tony is the trailer. But the order as they turn in is that Northern Starlight leads from Dr. Lunt, simply dashing the inside of Queen of Spades, then Mr. Strongale Mulligan out wide. Then we have Stormy Passage sitting on the inside of Jibber the Kipper running a bit free. Addington Boy follows then Super Coin with uh, Potter's Bay down the pack, and so too all the aces in the back marker is Bertoni as they level up towards fence number four, over which uh, there's a struggle for the lead, and it's uh, probably just Northern Starlight and Dr. Lunt that show the way. To Queen of Spades, further on the left in the yellow sleeves, that's uh, Mulligan. And then we have Simply Dashing, trying to hold a position the inside of uh, Mr. Strong Gale, with Stormy Passage following these, and the pace is on as they come down towards the sixth. Northern Starlight and uh, Dr. Lunt are one and two, and then Queen of Spades and Simply Dashing and Mr. Strong Gale. Mulligan's the outside of Stormy Passage and then Jibber the Kibber. And then we've got uh, Potter's Bay uh, towards the back and all the aces. Super Coins out the back on the outside. Addington Boys prefers the inside route. And uh, Bertone, Jamie Osborne has all of them in these sights because he's last as they leap the seventh, which will be the last next time round. And on the front end, Northern Starlight and Tony McCoy, they're playing his game. He has the aces, but uh, not all of them. All the aces is towards the back. So they uh, swing left-handed and race away out into the country towards fence number eight. And as they go to it, it's Northern Starlight that just has the edge to Dr. Lunt and on the outside, Mulligan. And then we've got Simply Dashing getting a little bit closer. Super Coin making a stride or two, but that's racing wide. Coming down towards the eighth now then, it's a plain fence coming into it. And uh, the leader's safely over. Dr. Lunt a little bit low, but it's uh, Bertoni at the back. And uh, Tony McCoy just... Uh, Gets rid of one pair of goggles there. Northern Starlight, his mount leads as they go into the ditch here. And doesn't he jump well? This ground at Addington Boy, blue sleeves, a little bit uh, low at that one. Let's check the SP. Stormy Passage, 7-2. to two. It's uh, getting a bit closer now. Richard Dunwoody in the light blue colours has pulled wide. Super Coin is on the wide outside. That was second favourite. The grey, all the aces, uh, just popping along out the back. Mr. Strong Gale going well. All to play for then. 13 started, still 13 in it as they cross the next. But Northern Starlight just has the edge. Queen of Spades is dropping away. A little bit tamed. Simply dashing his bang there. Zombie Passage in the light blue. Super Coin the outside. They swing left-handed at the bottom, the base of uh, Cleve Hill now. Shrouded in mist from the stands it is. And Mulligan just to put in a little bit of a short one there. But Tony, a little bit uncomfortable. Queen of Spades, we lost Potter's Bay there. And it's uh, still Northern Starlight that just has it. Simply dashing. The top weight, the inside of Stormy Passage. Mulligan, Dr. Lunt, Super Coin. He won the mild mayor fleet here. A little bit of a mistake there by Jibber the K. Addington Boy tries to get going. Mr. Strong Gale with his pace, but still the lightly weighted Northern Starlight has it as they come to the top of the hill and swing left handed quickly down towards fence number 14 of the 17. And it's Northern Starlight with uh, Stormy Passage on the inside of Dr. Lunt, who has asked for a big one there. And uh, caller there, Addington Boy has gone. Super Coin, a slight mistake and now he's under pressure, continuing the downhill run towards the third last. This Northern Starlight that has the edge. Northern Starlight carried 11 stone, 10 last time. Has just got 10 stone here, but Stormy Passage is putting in a big run in second place. Simply Dashing is behind them, and then Dr. Lunton of the grey. All the aces has been very quiet and is starting to stay on now as they come round the final turn in the triple print. And it's Northern Starlight. Our Anthony leading from in second place, Stormy
Stormy Passage in second. Then all the aces. Here comes Simply Dashing. Remember his last uh, final rush here in this previous race. And he's getting close enough. On the outside, Mr. Strong Gale is there with chances. But it's still Northern Starlight to Stormy Passage. Here comes Simply Dashing. Can he give him a thrashing? They come down towards the final fence. And Northern Starlight has made all the running. Two in second place, Simply Dashing. This is the final fence. And it's going to be Northern Starlight to Simply Dashing. Who's putting in a power finish? They're bent for places. But it's Northern Starlight. He's 113. Can he make it 14? He's holding on. Simply Dashing is putting in a real challenge here. But it's going to be held in the triple green at the line. It's going to be Northern Starlight. Who wins? Tony McCoy beats Lorcan Wire once again. Back to a third place, Mr. Strong there, then Dr. Lent and all the aces. And then we have Stormy Passage and Super Coin and Mulligan. And after that came home for Tony and uh, Jimmy the Kim, and they all finish. And so Northern Starlight has won at 15 to 2, number 10 on the card in the colours of uh, Mr. Arthur Such, trained at Wellington by Martin Pipe and ridden quite superbly by. Tony McCoy off this featherweight. He did a lightweight yesterday to win, and Sealy clearly he can uh, be as abstemious on the dinner plate as he can driving home a winner. Makes all the running in this Triple Brink Gold Cup. The smile of glee doesn't look quite as gaunt as he did yesterday after winning on Tamarindo, but it was an equally hard ride, equally committed. And once again, he's got one over on Lorcan Wire and Simply Dash. Two takes his prize money total to over £100,000. And well done to John Frankham, because that was his charity bet on the morning line this morning. Second number one, Simply Dashing at 11 to 2. And third number eight, Mr Strongale at 9 to 1. Number five, Stormy Passage was the 7 to 2 beaten favourite. The tote to win paid 8.40, places 2.30, 2.80 and 3.50. The dual forecast 15.78 and the computer straight forecast 38 pounds.